All right, my name is Chris. I'm currently the DU chairman for East Carolina University. And I'm Mason Leonard. I'm currently the NC State DU chairman. And we're out here with Tri-County Guide Service, Swan Hunting. We got, what, we got four tags. We got about four tags each from each chapter right here. So we're gonna try to get eight, eight swans on the ground this morning, see how it rolls. Go ahead and get everything set up this morning and see how it look, pans out. Yep, already got a couple in the air, so hopefully we can get a couple on the ground. Hey guys, this is Brett Wood with Tri County Guide Service. Uh, out here on a beautiful day trying to kill the tundra swan. Uh, this is kind of our basic setup here. We just did a, we're in a pit cornfield. Uh, we use these super magnum decoy shells by G&H Decoy Company. They're the best on the market. Uh, these birds late this season, we can't hunt out of A-frames or nothing, so we're hunting out of these agriculture deals. This is actually a good ditch here. It's good and deep. Uh, we put these uh, we put these tangle-free socks out here. It kind of gives us a little bit of camo. And uh, we've got a little bit of northwest wind today. So we, our, what we like to do is set up on the four corners, what we call the four corners. We'll put a group of decoys on each corner on each side of the ditch. Then that, that lets the birds work on either side they want to work on, upwind, downwind. Uh, Anyhow, yeah, that's, that's just kind of our basic Eastern North Carolina Tundra Swan setup. So if they're coming right at you, if they're low, you can just put it right on their face. But if they're at a little bit of angle, I mean, of course, you need to lead him about a foot in front of his face. Okay, same thing if he's flying, if he's really high and he's a little bit further, it's going to lead him a little bit more, but if he's close enough, just about a 6 to 12 inches in the front of it. Okay. okay. Alright, Daisy, get ready. We're going to put it right in front of his face, okay? And Kylie, you're going to shoot the second one. Okay. Just sit still. Come on. Okay, Daisy, go. Right in front of his face. Alright, hold up. Finally. 
Oh. <laughs> uh. Hey, you can leave that one right there. <coughs> All good. No, there's no why am I? What did you say? Smoke. I was so afraid to move. I didn't want him to see me. Well, I, I didn't know how close, and then I just saw. I was trying smoke. to get her where she could roll to shoot him, but it was just too quick. So yeah. I'll try to get you on him. Make sure you lead them good. You ready? You ready? Which one are you shooting, Daisy? Go. Go. Shoot him. No, not him. To your left. Grab this four right here. Right by the other one. Oh. Ready? There's two in the back locked up. Yeah, two locked up. I feel like saying, if you come in, we'll be right near. Oh, uh, they shot it really off the way. Thank you. Coolest thing I've ever done. It's so cool. Come in. It's awesome. Club, club. Somebody look in the club. Hey, everybody grab the stuff so we can rotate out and keep the boys rolling. All right. All right, so we showed up about 6.30. I mean, we let State go first. Uh, I think it took about, what, two, two and a half hours, two hours, four times. This is pretty rough. <laughs> we heard about 30 shots. Only four tags in the group, so hopefully we're going to be out here about 30 minutes max, you know. I'm feeling kind of confident about my voice. I love like that rules. <laughs> oh, yeah! Shoot the other one! Right there, right there. Other one! Oh! Yes! There we go. <laughs> go Pirates, boys. Go Pirates. Right there. Hey, right there, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three right here, three right here. Oh, 
Oh yeah! Oh, that was good shoot. There's your last one. I'll say, you know, I did miss the first seven shots, but number eight did it justice. And I was talking junk about my boys, but you know, they actually showed me up today. Quite bright up, actually. Oh, these tags at the house. No, I'm just kidding. It was a great hunt. Struggled the first few shots, got a little excited. First swan hunt ever. Then really focused on the second one. Dropped it first shot. Felt great. Happy to be here. Well done. Yeah, Alright. Yeah. Right. 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 So, we're out here measuring the wingspans of the swans. See who's got the biggest wingspan on their swan. So, whose swan is this? Tyler Strickland. Seventy-six. Nice. This one belongs to Mr. Tanner Hotter. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Nah, Tanner got beat. All right. Well, one inch. Seems like the Pirates pulled it off on the wingspan. Better well, luck next so year, I guess. <laughs> Go pack. <laughs> <laughs> and Pirates, too. I mean, we're all kind of a family here. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little like sibling rivalry type stuff. Just got it done here in Beaufort County. So we want to thank you to Tri-County Guide Service for having us out and having these birds work, work good for us all day. Thank you to the people that gave us a place to stay and a nice oyster roast and a nice dinner and a, a real quality hunt. Had a great time out here. I hope you all enjoy the video.